Hi, this is a short video on how to use printf and scanf in the flat assembler or FASM. So what I'm going to do here, format for a console program, and I'm going to include the library that comes with FASM that has the C functions for printf and scanf. And so here's my code section. Here is my data section or variables. And here is my imported data section. So on the imported data section, the second line right here, I need to import the printf, the scanf, and then I'm uh, importing this get character that allows me to kind of do a print, press any key to continue uh, at the end of the program. So the console doesn't just close out. Uh, so anyway, so when you do a printf, uh, this, of course, that's a C function, the printf, um, when you call a function, you, instead of doing the opening and closing parentheses like you would do in C, you do a comma, and then you put your parameters uh, separated by commas after that. So in this case, when you do a printf, if you just want to print some text, you'd put a comma, and then within the quotations, put the text, like enter your name. Okay, so for the scanf, um, in using the... Uh, you have to use the format specifier doing the scanf. And the percent %s format specifier is for a string. The percent %d is for a signed integer. And again, this is not a these this is not assembly stuff. This is the C functions printf and scanf. In fact, here are the format specifiers for the printf right here. Uh, so you can do some more stuff with them if you want to uh, read up about the format specifiers. Okay, so now uh, this section right here, the, the data or the variables, I've declared two variables. One is a bytes, uh, but this one I have actually left 15 spaces in there. I'm saying that's going to be the maximum size of the name that it can hold. And so that's actually 15 bytes. And then another variable called IQ, and that's a 30, DD means a 32-bit integer. And so I'm just initializing that to zero right here because you got to specify initial value. Okay, now you could also do this in the .bss section. Maybe that's the better way to do it. But I usually just use the .data section to create my variables. And so now, so what this program will do, ask you to enter your name, and then the uh, percent %s means get a string, and then it needs a second parameter, and that's going to be the name of your variable. And then the same thing here with the IQ, but a percent %d for input uh, integer, and then it will go into the variable IQ right here. Um, and now I'm going to print uh, your name is and then use the percent %s uh, string format specifier to print the name, and then a percent %c format specifier uh, to output an ASCII 10. Now, you cannot do a backslash n inside the quotation, so if you want to skip to the line, well, that's uh, line return is actually uh, ASCII number 10. So if you just do a percent %c format specifier, then add the extra parameter, a comma 10, then you can do that. Like down here, I did two of them. I started with the percent %c, and then I ended it with percent %c. So then I have to have two of these 10 format specifiers. And again, each one of them is a new line. Okay, now this last printf right here, um, the it will output your IQ and decimal. And we're going to change that. I'll show you how to do that in hex in a second. And it will do a percent %d, which the value of IQ. Okay, so now this is where it gets confusing, I think. Um, I have the square brackets around IQ right here. Now, uh, when you're working with numbers, especially when you're doing any kind of assembly stuff and you're working with these variables, you need the square brackets to mean the value stored there. So, IQ is actually a memory address with the square brackets means what is the value stored at that memory address. But it is 
kind of confusing here because, okay, well, we didn't have to do that in the scanf, and we don't have to do it with strings. So, you know, there's, I, I don't have an easy way to memorize that. Uh, so just know that when you do a printf for numbers, you need the square brackets to mean the value at that memory address. Okay, so I'm going to run this program and enter your name, enter your IQ, and then it just prints out your name is David, IQ is 100, whatever you entered. And then, of course, this is doing the press almost any key to continue, the get character. So I can just hit a space or something and then it will go away. Doesn't go away immediately though. Doesn't seem to work perfectly. Okay, so now if you wanted to, so for the format specifiers, I'll just show you an, another little example with them. Like if you wanted to print out your name in hexadecimal, then you would do a percent x, and that gives you lowercase hexadecimal or uppercase hexadecimal. Uh, but that would just print the number, which could be confusing. If you put a number sign right there, then that puts the 0x in front of it, which means it will actually look more like hexadecimal that way. So here, if I do that and enter it, then here your name is and IQ and hex is, it puts that 0x in front of it. Uh, okay, so now uh, let me just take that back out your IQ. I'll just put your IQ is. Okay, so now uh, back to let's say that you wanted to uh, move your IQ. Let's say you wanted to print out a register instead of a, a memory variable here. So let so I'm going to move into the EAX register the value at memory address IQ. Okay, and so now if I wanted to print F, well, here you do not put the brackets. You just put EAX. So here's how we can print out the value of a register. Okay, so run it and enter your name, and then my IQ is getting better. And so here, output IQ is 120. But notice if you, if you forgot to put your square brackets right here, what that's doing is moving into the EAX register the memory address IQ, because IQ is a memory address. So now watch what happens when I print out uh, EAX. Uh, in this case, uh, it, now the IQ is printing this number right here, which is actually a memory address. So again, you have to remember to use your square brackets to uh, grab the contents that's at the IQ memory address. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to go over in this video. Just a uh, quick getting started with the printf and scanf.